an evolution to occur. It's owned by the government, it's owned by the people, and they're giving it to a developer, giving it to them. There was this deep sense of betrayal in people that the council had actually stabbed them in the back. Council were elected to represent us. They weren't elected to represent a bunch of developers. It was a $365 million development. There were a lot of people going to make a lot of money out of it going ahead. The motion has been put, it has been voted upon, and that is the outcome of the decision. You know, we're not stopping. Like, we are passionate. These four councillors, they will hear from us. Dr. Rachel Griffiths has joined the campaign against the proposed redevelopment of the St Kilda Triangle. I think they're out of touch with what's actually happening and what the community really wants. This grubby little mob that calls itself a council is up for election. A lot of people have asked me if I'm going to run for council tonight. And yeah, why not? Why not run? We have six weeks to perhaps take this community back. Motivate this French guy to devote his life to try to stop a project he doesn't truly understand? I don't know. People ride on blogs, you know, I hate Dick Ross, can't wait for him to turn up his toes or whatever. But that's politics. <laughs> Court showdown is looming over the St Kilda Triangle. You know, this is a nice little belt around the ear for him, but I think there's a bit more coming. Why are we going to be dictated to by a group of 100 people? It's ridiculous. Boys, mate, I love revolution. We've got a contract, we've got a permit, we're not going away.